Hello everyone! Welcome once again to Brandeo Collection. Today we have some more exciting autograph pickups, specifically some big behind the scenes players of the original Star Wars trilogy and beyond. So stick around and we'll take a look right after the jump. All right, so jumping right into things today. Today we have a few new pieces that we just recently added to our autograph collection. Thank you once again to our good friends over at SWAU and some great behind the scenes signings that they just recently had. Now, before we jump into the pieces we've added to the collection, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell notification to be notified when we post new content. So stick around right here and we'll take a look at these behind the scenes players and which autograph pieces we just got in. So the pieces that we got into our collection today are two really big people in the behind the scenes world of the original Star Wars trilogy and at Industrial Light and Magic ILM. And they are part of the beginnings of ILM. They were there at the creation of ILM and they were there through some of the biggest projects and the biggest pieces of film history. And especially when it comes to the concept phase and of course the special effects stage of the original trilogy and lots of other great films from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So we're actually going to start off with this first person and that first person is going to be Joe Johnson. So the first piece we got here that is signed by him is a concept art of Boba Fett. So of all of the kind of concept art and things that Joe Johnson was credited with creating behind the scenes of the orig original trilogy, I decided to go with some concept art of Boba Fett. Now, of course, he's also integral in creating a lot of the most famous ships uh, behind the scenes, the Millennium Falcon, for example, um, Boba Fett's Slave One, or uh, the Fire Spray, as it's called now. Um, some of those different ships and different designs of costumes from the original Star Wars trilogy, but I thought it would be great to have that representation of the concept art for Boba Fett. Now, other than his work in the original trilogy and, of course, working with ILM on many other films during the 80s and 90s, for example, he also is a very prolific director as well. He directed some of probably some of your favorite films. He directed the original Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. He directed Jurassic Park 3. And in the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he actually directed Captain America, the first Avenger. So the first Captain America film was directed by Joe Johnson. So here we have a piece that's signed by him behind the scenes with Chris Evans. This piece actually is on its way back to SWAU right now. It actually should have arrived by now um, to be signed at C2E2 by Chris Evans. So we're going to have this signed by not just the director of the film, but the star of the film, Chris Evans, as well, once that comes back around. But got this signed by him. It came to us, and then we sent it right back um, to be signed at C2E2 by Chris Evans. Now to transition our way from Joe Johnson to the second person that we're going to talk about for ILM, and that second person is Phil Tippett. So Phil Tippett is one of those ILM workers. He's a model maker, and of course, he is very famous for his stop motion animation of not just the original trilogy, but he's also really, really important to the integral nature, nature of RoboCop and Jurassic Park. So we're going to start off with a piece that goes into that, and that is this Imperial Walker shot from Empire Strikes Back. So here we have three different ILM behind the scenes people on this shot. So first off, we have Doug Bestwick, which is actually somebody I got signed on this piece. That's the first person that signed it uh, when SWAU had a sh um, signing with him about a year or two ago. 
And then I added Joe Johnson and Phil Tippett to this because Joe Johnson was integral in the actual concept and the design of the walkers and then phil tippett of course was one of the animators who actually animated the stop motion for the walkers during the battle of hoth so i do plan on adding some other behind the scenes ilm workers ones who actually worked on this scene to this shot as those other signings may get announced in the future so going to our single shots here, the other Star Wars shot I got for Phil Tippett was this shot of him with the chess set from A New Hope. He also was hired to come back and redo the animation for uh, The Force Awakens. So when you have that quick shot of the chess set in The Force Awakens on the Millennium Falcon, that was Phil Tippett um, coming back from his original animation he did in the first film, all the way coming back around um, for the first of the sequel film. So had to get this shot to represent the creation of the first Star Wars film. And then the final shot we have here is a shot with Phil Tippett with Ed 209 from Robocop. Uh, many of you have, uh, if you've watched any of our other videos, if you watched our collection tour and seen um, our Robocop and Ed 209 figures here in the collection room, I've mentioned before that Robocop is one of my all time favorite films. It was the first R rated film I ever watched. Um, the Ed 209 scene is ingrained in my brain uh, just because of how insanely violent that scene is and the fact of how young I was when I first watched it. It's one of those scenes that will just always remain with me um, and a film that's very important to me when it comes to my love of film and the types of film that I love um, and of course my love for stop motion animation. Phil Tippett was one of the people I looked up to when it came to dabbling a little bit in stop motion when I was a kid. Um, I did make a lot of stop motion films when I was younger um, and that Phil Tippett was one of those people uh, that I looked up to him, Ray Harryhausen, Willis O'Brien um, and so forth. So it's great to finally have a couple pieces in my collection signed by him and of course Joe Johnson who is such an important figure in Star Wars as well. So just want to take some time go over these pieces of some people that not all the time get a lot of love and a lot of dedication to them and how important they are uh, in the world of film and Star Wars. So want to take some time to share with everyone. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like it, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell notification to be notified when we post more content. We have some more exciting things coming up very soon. You're not going to want to miss. And of course, keep on collecting.